It's Judd, your ministerial intern. And I've been thinking today about a question that the former Episcopal priest and author Barbara Brown Taylor asks, which is, what's saving your life today? And it's a good question to ask yourself from time to time. At least I find that to be the case. Right now, being at home a lot because of stay-at-home orders from the pandemic, Music is saving my life a lot. And my favorite singer-songwriter, Gillian Welch, or one of them, um, came out with a cover of an old song called Old Time Religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. I started wanting to know more about this song because I love it, but it's a question, is Unitarian Universalism an old time religion? The original lyrics of the song make it a Christian song. And I recently had the shock of discovering in a world religions textbook that I read for a class Unitarian Universalism included in the more recent religions, like new emergences. I don't really think of Unitarian Universalism as some kind of new emergence, since Unitarian Universalism and since Unitarianism and Universalism are older than that. They're hundreds of years old. And of course they come from six different sources, the Hebrew Bible, the New Testament, so I do think of it as an old time religion. And I started digging into the origins of the song and looking at different versions of the song. And Gillian Welch does one version of it, as do a lot of country singers. And so do Mahalia Jackson, Mahalia Jackson the Fisk Jubilee singers, who were an African-American a cappella group at Fisk University back in the 1800s, which is when the song comes from. And I'm going to need to do a little more digging because I can't tell really where it comes from. I mean, my first thought was that it was sort of a white Southeastern cultural phenomenon because I heard it a lot in South Carolina where I grew up. And you would hear it at like a fair or a farmer's market. And you hear it up here too. You'd have a small band with a banjo and a guitar, something like that. And they'd be performing that kind of song, but it's not clear whether that comes from a, a gospel tradition in the sense of an African-American tradition or from what they call Southern gospel, which is more of a white Southeastern tradition. I've always been skeptical of that naming, Southern Gospel, because it seems like it's not acknowledging gospel, um, the African-American tradition. I came along Pete Seeger's version of the song, and he had completely rewritten it. And Pete Seeger is the Unitarian Universalist who went to a church in New York State. But he, one of his verses goes, we will pray with those Egyptians, build pyramids to put our crypts in, cover subways with inscriptions, and it's good enough for me. And I'm wondering if that isn't one side of Unitarian Universalism. In the original song with the Fisk Jubilee singers, Gillian Welch, Mahalia Jackson on it, is another sort of end of a continuum where on one side you've got the traditional Christian song and another side you've got Pete Seeger's version where he's kind of poking fun at religion at old time religions and probably we all kind of fall somewhere in that continuum and I wonder where you fall so consider these questions consider what's saving your life today what songs are in your head? 
what music might be helping you get through this pandemic crisis and being at home so much. And if you get a chance, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. You can always do that. But if something occurs to you about this consideration, just drop me a line and take good care. Amen and blessed be.